I built this robot a really long time ago but never got it working as I wanted to. How about finishing it now? We will play with the technology of the future. Or actually the technology of the past that is the future. I have a programming background. I used to program a lot of games, websites, apps and robots. I've never been a professional programmer, but I know something about that. I read a lot about machine learning, genetic algorithms and neural networks. But I'm still far from understanding them completely, especially the backpropagation algorithm. For that, I need to study more math. If you would like to learn more about machine learning, I will put few useful links down in the description, but I will also try to give you a short introduction to neural networks right here. Are you ready? Let's start. Neural networks function a little bit like our brain. In the brain we have neurons that are connected together and here we have artificial neurons that are connected together in layers. And then those layers are also connected together. We can divide layers to input layer, hidden layer and output layer. We can have multiple hidden layers but only one input and one output layer. Number of neurons in each layer depends on the specification of your project. Before we start using neural network we need to train it and for that we need input data and expected output data so that the network can adapt to those values and modify weights between the neurons. After training we can simply feed our input data to the network and it will give us all the answers. Of course that's not all of the magic behind neural networks. This topic is way more sophisticated. If you want to know more check out the links in the description. And if you need parts for your next electronics project check out LCSC Electronics because they are the sponsor of this video. You can find a lot of parts for your next project on their website. Every part is clearly labeled and you can find here datasheet of each part. If you want to buy parts for your next DIY project or commercial product this is a great place. They have discounts if you buy more stuff and you can pay with PayPal. In the description you can find a link to LCSC Electronics, go check them out. Thanks for sponsoring LCSC. First before we will jump to any programming, we need some kind of a robot chassis. Here is my very simple robot chassis with four motors, four wheels, a display, I'm not sure if I will use it, the Arduino Uno, ultrasonic sensor, here is a servo so we can rotate it, also not sure if I will use this functionality. Right there is the motor driver and I need to just add the battery and it will be ready. So let me now show you what we need in the Arduino IDE. Setting this up in Arduino IDE is very simple. Just go to sketch, add library, manage libraries and here you just need to type neural and the first library the neural network by George Chosos. You need to install this, I already have installed this. And now I just need to figure out how to connect this code with my robot. It looks like it is a kind of a two-step program. Firstly, we need to run the backpropagation sketch uh, to calculate all of the weights for the values that we will put into the feedforward. And here is my feedforward program. I already wrote the functions for the robot to go forward, left, right and back. Uh, and here I need to change those weights to my own weights. I changed all of the values for the new code. Here I have the battery. So let's put this thing on the ground and we will see how well it performed with the neural network. First test is really not impressive at all, basically it does not work and there is a lot of reasons for that. First thing, the neural networks are not really easy to train, especially if you want to train them properly. And when you want to use something with as low computing power as Arduino, it's almost impossible, but I will get it working eventually. So what I want to do now to increase the chances of this experiment to succeed, I want to increase the training loops from 8000 to 20,000, hopefully this will let me train the neural network a little bit better. So let's change the code, run to the Arduino and it will take some time to train this network. And here it is after half an hour of training. Maybe I'm just trying too sophisticated thing because it still does not work at all. What I wanted to do is to let the robot measure the distance on the left, right and in the center and then decide where is more space to go there. 
Maybe that's too sophisticated for the beginning, so let's try something simpler. I will let the robot measure the distance in front of it and then decide to go forward, turn or go backward. Something like this could be done with just one if statement. But neural network is fancier, so let's do this. I changed the world program completely and it's probably the simplest thing possible. It just has to detect the distance in front of the robot and decide to go forward or go backward. And here is the result. And the problem is that this robot is turned on. And nothing happens. I feel like maybe this library does not work properly or maybe I can't use it properly. I don't know. I will try to find another solution online and hopefully I will get at least the simplest thing with the neural network on the Arduino to work. and copy and paste. I just remembered that I watched Sin Hojin's video on the Make channel where he built the artificial neural network robots and he put a link to a quite interesting code. It's very simple and it's just written in one that in a file. There are no libraries to add, which is cool. Uh, I will also put a link to this code down in the description and I will also put links to Sin's videos so you can check it out. And unfortunately it's not as simple as just copy and paste, so I have to modify this code again to make it work with my robot. There is a really high probability that right now this will work. I mean I'm not sure, but I really believe that this code will work. It's a little bit simpler to use, at least for me, and it may be a little bit more confusing for beginners. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's basically the same thing that I previously tried to do, but instead of library, I use this code that you can find a link to in the description. I will also link my code on GitHub. And right now the robot is training right here, as you can see. And the problem, the only problem with this code is that every time you turn it off and then on again, it has to train. I mean, you could easily override that with the code, but as for now, let's just keep it as simple as this to see if it works. It works. Of course, it's not perfect and there are definitely some things to improve. But I'm so happy that I managed to get the artificial neural network working on the Arduino. I definitely want to play with this technology in the future a little bit more. Maybe connect that with Raspberry Pi or some other powerful computer to compute faster. Another interesting thing is that every time you turn on this robot, if you build your own robot, Every time you turn it on, it will behave completely differently because of different weights between each node. That's really interesting. That's it for this video. I will definitely play with Arduino and artificial neural networks a little bit more in the future and probably I will make more videos about that. If you have any questions or ideas, leave them in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks to LCSC for sponsoring this video. Happy making. Bye.